Hi guys, Claire Wood here. Welcome to my first video on the Glitter Bells channel. So I'm going to create a 3D Elmo for you. So coming in with carbon black, I'm creating the inside of his mouth. So you just want to push it out and get like a half moon shape going on. And then coming in with wifey and using a cocktail stick, doing his uh, bottom furry lip. Just keep jabbing the acrylic and when it starts getting hard, just keep jabbing because the more you jab it, the better the effect you're gonna get. And then another bead doing the side of his mouth. Again, always work in small beads because, well, you can keep adding. If you're working big beads, then it, it starts hardening on the one side and then once it's hardened you can't jab it and you're not going to get that furry effect so yeah the key is small beads once you've done his bottom lip I'm going to come in with more wifey, do his upper lip and using your cocktail stick again, just jab. You will find that the acrylic will stick to the um, cocktail stick but if you just put it into your powder then it, it does help to avoid the, the acrylic sticking and having too much product on your cocktail stick. You just want to build that up. Leaving a gap at the top just for his eyes and then you can fill in all around his eyes anyway. So. And then coming in with small beads of Snowdrops White. You just want to map out where his eyes are going to be in the shape and the size. Flatten it out. And then do his other one. Again, just map out his eyes because you're going to come in with a wetter bead. And make them look all goggly. press around the sides just so that that product will bleed all the way to the sides you've got no creases or grooves or dents. And then build up around his eyes with some more wifey. Again, small beads. And then fill in his top lip a bit more just so that it stands out a little bit further than his bottom lip. So I'm building his nose up with honey and then I use citronella just over the top just to give it bit of, more of an orangey look and coming in with some more wifey building up his body which you don't want it to be too thick so you can put a bead on push it out and do it quite thin because you want his head to be standing up more than his body Making him a little arm so it looks like he's waving. I'm just 
just building this up first and then I'm going to come in with more beads and give him the scruffy furry effect. Do his little fingers. And adding more more product just over his arm not too much because again you don't want it to stand out too much and then jabbing it to give him the furry effect and then coming in with some glitter bells black glass giving him his pupils And there we go that is almo complete hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye